Hey, what's going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to write and optimize a blog post using ChatGPT and Neuron Writer. So I'll be using ChatGPT to generate the actual content for the blog post, and then I'll be using Neuron Writer to optimize that content to increase the likeliness of ranking on the first page of Google for that specific blog post. I'm sure most of you are already familiar with ChatGPT. It's the latest conversational AI model to be released by OpenAI. And because it's built on GPT-3, or GPT 3.5, it has some very powerful AI copywriting features. So you're able to generate both short and long form copy using chat GPT. So I'll be using chat GPT to generate the actual content. And then I'll be using new and writer to optimize that content. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you want to do is head over to chat GPT. And if you don't have an idea as to what you would like to write about, just ask chat GPT to give you blog post ideas for that specific topic. In this example, I asked chat GPT to give me blog post ideas about making money online as a teenager and as you can see we have 10 different titles which we can choose from if you want you can generate more responses and once you find the blog post title that you like the best you can either just tell chat GPT to then write you an outline for number four or you can paste that in and then um, ask chat GPT to write an outline for you so so because this is a conversational AI model it already understands and knows what that conversation is about so we can just ask it to write a blog post outline for number four. So as we can see, Chant GPT has generated an outline for title number four, which is the ultimate guide to making money online with surveys as teenagers. And we can see here that we get a nice introduction for this specific um, blog post. So once you've generated your outline, you want to go ahead and copy that and paste it over into a Google Doc. You could then ask ChatGPT to extend your outline um, if you find that this is too short. But what I personally like to do is I like to head over to Nuon Writer. And if you're unfamiliar with what Neuron Writer is, essentially it's a content optimization tool. So you will enter a query in which you're trying to rank for, and Neuron Writer will go out and pull all of the most important ranking factors from the top ranked blogs for that specific keyword and put it all into one place and give you recommendations that you need to follow if you would like to um, improve and optimize your content to increase the likeness of ranking on the first page of Google. For this example, our main or target keyword would be making money with online surveys for teenagers. So I'd want to go ahead and copy that target keyword because this is what we're going to be trying to rank for um, with this blog post and paste it into the query section on Neuron Writer and then click start. And once that's finished loading, you want to go ahead and click on that query. And the first section here will actually give you a overview of your competition. So you'd be able to see the top rank blogs um, for that specific keywords. You'll be able to see their content score. That just tells you how optimized that content is. The higher the number, the more optimized uh, that blog post is. Then you can see the length of words. You can see the page title and the URL. So you can choose how many competitors um, you would like uh, to sort of size up your content against. And if there's any irrelevant um, competitors that are selected here, like an Amazon listing or a Quora answer, you can actually deselect that as well. So this is very useful for you to really um, just get a gauge of your competition and um, also customize who you would like to go after. So maybe you're not going after the top two ranked blog posts, but maybe you're trying to get um, in the top five. So you can then customize that within this section. So once you click next, your content editor will be loaded up. And this is where you'll optimize your content. Now, of course, we need to first generate that content before we can optimize it. So what I like to do is I like to use the article draft feature included in Nuon Writer. Essentially, what this does is it pulls all of the most relevant H1, H2, and H3 tags from all of the most relevant competitors for this specific keyword and puts it all into one place. You can go ahead and add that onto your article layout. So essentially, you're, you're able to customize and build out your outline based upon what your competitors are writing about. So things such as how do online paid survey sites work? How old do you have to be to do an online paid survey? How much can you earn? That's a good one. How hard is it for teens to complete online surveys and so on? So you can actually filter this by H1, H2 or H3 tags. So again, um, whatever specific headlines you're looking for, you can find it within this section. So now what I would do is I would combine the two outlines that we got from New and Writer and the outline that we got from ChatGPT all into one place on this Google Doc. So first, let's head over back to New and Writer and we're going to have to manually copy and paste this over. Um, I don't know if there's a faster way to do this, but this is how I would do it. 
So I'll remove that intro because we already know that this will be the intro. So what I can do is I can start off the blog post by answering the question, what is a teen survey site? And the next blog post topic could be how do online surveys work? So that would be a pretty good one as well. And let's see what other headlines we have here. So how much can you make from online paid surveys? We'll copy that over. And we'll paste this right after finding legitimate survey sites. Paste that in here. How hard is it for teens to complete online surveys? So that can also be a really um, useful and relevant subheading to include here. And uh, there you go. We have a pretty decent outline, uh, pretty comprehensive for this specific blog post. And once the rough draft of your blog post outline is completed, what you want to do is copy and paste that into chat GPT. And as you can see, chat GPT will clean it up for you um, to make it more readable. Then I would ask chat GPT to write a full length blog post following the outline provided. Go ahead and uh, hit enter. And what's going to happen is um, chat GPT is going to then uh, create that full length article um, following that outline in which we created. And there you go, ChatGPT has generated a full length article from the inputs in which we entered. But this um, blog post isn't long by any means. So what I would do is I would copy this over, uh, paste that within our blog post document. In order to expand that content, I would go back to our outline and copy each one of them and ask ChatGPT to write a paragraph, write a long paragraph actually about this for my blog post. So what this is going to do is this is going to give us more uh, context and just longer content. And then you can copy this over and add this onto the existing um, content in which um, ChatGPT already created. So right off the bat here, we get a much longer piece of content from ChatGPT. So what I would recommend is I would recommend you either generate your output and then um, do it individually on ChatGPT and tell it that you want to write a longer paragraph or when you're asking chat the GPT to generate a full length article and you're giving it the outline, tell it that you want to generate a 1000 or 2000 word blog post, because um, I think if you do so, you'll be able to get much longer pieces of content. But again, there's a multiple different ways for you to really um, get content using chat the GPT. And you just need to sort of play around to see which one works the best for the type of content in which you're creating. So in this example here, um, we see that we get much, much longer pieces of content when we um, individually ask ChatGPT to give us some output. So I'm going to continue doing this for this specific article so we can hit that 2000 word mark. So again, what I did was I copied the specific blog post um, outlines in which we've already generated. And I asked ChatGPT to write a long paragraph on this topic for my blog post. <laughs> And again, we get a pretty long output here from Chad GPT. So again, let's copy that over. And we can actually even remove this and paste it in here. So again, let's go ahead and continue this. So we'll do this for the third output, which is um, tips for avoiding scams and low paying sites. This method seems to be working really, really well. Not only am I able to get longer pieces of content, they're also much more in depth and um, seems to be more relevant to uh, what we're writing about. So I would definitely recommend um, individually going ahead and generating your outlines rather than generating it all at once with ChatGPT because it seems as though when you go individual, you're able to get more um, context and you're able to get more in depth and uh, longer information. And there you go, by extending those specific blog post outlines, we're able to generate a 2000 plus word blog post using chat GPT. Now it's time to actually optimize that blog post so we can rank on Google for our target keyword. So what you want to do now is copy that blog post in which you generated and head back over to new and writer. And we're going to paste um, that article within this section here. So we can see that our content score went from a zero to a seven. So we still have some work to do to optimize our content, but luckily it's very easy to start optimizing your content. The first thing that you'd want to do is make sure that you're including all of the target keywords on the right hand side within your article. So this is going to help with your on page optimization because when Google goes to read um, your content, uh, it'll see those target keywords and it'll know what to rank you for. So it's very important that you include these keywords. So keywords such as paid survey for teens has not been included within this article. So I would definitely want to go ahead 
and include that in places that make sense on Neuron Writer. These are going to be the terms in articles. On the left-hand side will be terms in headers. So these are going to be the terms in which you need to include within your H1 and H2 tags. So again, these are very important because this is what the search engines will read and it will um, figure out what your content is about and that's how it will rank your content. So you always wanna make sure that you're including your terms in headers and your terms in articles. And just by making sure those specific keywords are included within your article and within your headers, you can increase your content score uh, pretty drastically. Now, you would need to add some images and you would also um, need to add more H1 and H2 tags that are relevant for your blog post to be able to get a content score of a 70 and above. But again, you don't want to overly optimize your blog post. You want to get it to a strong content optimization score. Then you want to post it online. And if it's doing well, you can then further optimize your content to get higher rankings. But New One Writer is a really, really good tool because it gives you all of the information that you need all in one place. So all you have to do is uh, follow that information as we saw here, we see the terms in headers. We can also see the terms in articles. On the right-hand side of content terms, we can see our competitors H1, H2, and H3 sections that they've included within their articles. So you can go ahead and uh, go through your competitors, get some ideas of content which you would like to include within your article. There's also a questions to answer section. So this, again, will pull all of the most commonly asked questions for this specific query. So we can see some specific questions here and you can go ahead and paste that onto Nuon Writer. Now what's also very unique about Nuon Writer is that they have a built-in AI writer. So you can actually use their AI writer um, to generate content for you. So if you don't have access to a separate AI copywriter or you just wanna get some new unique content, you can highlight that content, click AI writer, click start paragraph, hit generate, and as you can see, the AI will generate a output for you based upon your input. So this question asks, how does a 13 year old make money with surveys? And we get a nice little answer here. We can copy this to the editor. So New One Writer is probably one of the most powerful content optimization tools I've had access to. And it's also very, very affordable. At the time of recording this video, there is a lifetime deal for New One Writer on AppSumo. So I highly recommend if you're looking to rank your content on Google, or if you're just looking to optimize your content a little bit further, then I would suggest you grab the lifetime deal for New One Writer from AppSumo. I'll leave a link for the lifetime deal in the description below this video. So that's my workflow on how I would write and optimize a 2000 plus word blog post using chat, GPT, and Neuron Writer. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you got some value from it and you can utilize this strategy within your content marketing. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.